Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see I've got no makeup on and you are like in a different space. I've put you on top of my dressing table. Um, I wanted to kind of try out some new makeup this morning. I'm filming this on Sunday um, and I wanted to film it. Uh, and I wanted to have you on my dressing table. So you're not on my tripod, you're balanced on loads of boxes and my light's on over there. Um, there's a bit of a shadow on the wall but hey, come on. It's fine, it's fine. Um, yeah, I thought I'd try on some new makeup and um, kind of do like a little first impressions but also like a little get ready with me, so we'll do that. Um, I am gonna prime my face straight away with this ASOS primer that I got in um, that pack that I got in the Boxing Day sales. I really like the feel of this primer actually. It feels really nice. It doesn't feel like super hydrating. It doesn't feel like silicone and matte either like it feels like a nice in between um i really like it and it does feel really nice and smooth so that's good especially when i'm having at the moment my skin is like being really dry like it always gets like this in the winter it just goes through phases where it's really dry so yeah i'm not putting anything like super matte or mattifying on it today <clears throat> Now I need to kind of think about what to put on as my base and I do have these Bare Minerals powders but I tried the matte one on um, and it was way too dark for me. However looking at these, the matte one looks darker and more yellow than the original one. So I don't know whether to try the original one or whether to try this. I got this in M&S. This is one of the Rosie Huntington Whiteley, whatever her name is. Um, things for autograph which is at M&S. This is a sheer finish complexion enhancer. Um, so it's like a tinted moisturiser um, in the shade beige and I got it. I wouldn't necessarily normally go for a tinted moisturiser but because my skin's been so dry um, I thought I'd try it and also it was reduced to £4.50 and it was originally £18. So I thought why not? Um, I don't know whether to try that or whether to try the Bare Minerals one. Uh, I might try this first and just see if it does anything. So it has like a little pump, which I think is really cool. So we will see. There's the colour. It's quite like dark compared to my skin, but I'm hoping that it will just like bring a bit of colour to my face. I think it is like extremely light, like I would still need to go over this with concealer and stuff. Um, whereas with like the foundations I'm using at the moment, they're still like coverage, but I don't really use concealer, sometimes on my spots. Um, I don't really know if that's made much difference. I've definitely got like a sheen to my skin. Um, maybe I do look like a bit more even, maybe, yeah. I don't think the colour's bad at all, I think with tinted moisturisers anyway, you can blend them out so easily, like down your neck and stuff, that it's, it's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's alright to be fair. Nice. What I might do is go over the top of it with the Bare Minerals one. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals one at the same time. So the matte one was too dark for me. Um, it didn't feel like it in person and then I started filming and I saw like how dark it was. Um, but yeah, let's try a bit of this one. So this is the original foundation. So this is the one that I think um, can leave you a bit dewy. We will see. This is definitely giving me more coverage. <clears throat> There's me like looking more into the light. I definitely think I've got a lot more coverage from the Bare Minerals one. Not sure about the shade though. I feel like I should have gone for a lighter one, but it doesn't look too bad actually. I, I quite like the look of my skin. Yeah. What I might do actually is move where the camera is, 
so that I'm more into the light. Sorry, there's gonna be a different angle now. And then Bare Minerals have this uh, mineral veil powder. So it's like this really light powder and that's meant to like um, keep you matte. So I'm gonna pop this over the top. It's very pink. So hopefully that will help set me in place. What do we think? If I touch my face, it does feel really matte now, which is very good. Um, when I did wear the matte foundation before, I did still put the mineral veil on top. However, I did get like quite dewy quicker than I normally would. Um, so, if I was going to wear bare minerals, I would carry the mineral veil around with me um, to keep myself matte for like the whole day. But I'm I'm really intrigued by it because it's meant to be like so much better for your skin. You're meant to be able to sleep in it as well, um, which I still wouldn't recommend. But yeah. So I feel like I'm gonna use the rosy one when I'm a. Uh, like at the weekend or something when I'm just chilling at home and want to put a bit of makeup on or if I'm going to do a little bit of filming or something just to put something on and yeah I'll keep playing around with the bare minerals I'm still not going to wear it to like work and stuff because I don't feel confident enough wearing it yet um but yeah we'll see I can't believe the difference in shades the bottom one is the matte one and the top one's the original but they're both in the shade light I can't believe that that's crazy um, so I might have to go back and ask for the matte one, but in a different shade. I wonder if that's meant to happen. If it's meant to be a bit different, who knows. Right, so we've done that. Right, let's move on to eyeshadow. I have just primed my eyes with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I have like two of these. I also have a Benefit primer and a, um, I think, MUA primer. So I'm just kind of like trying to get through them. I don't have any new primers. Um, I don't have any particularly new eyeshadow palettes except this Jacqueline Hill one which I got for Christmas but I have been using it <laughs> and I really really like it um, so yeah here are the colours inside um, they're really nice I to be fair though I haven't been using these two to like set my primer in place because they've got a bit of shimmer to them and I, um, I'm not sure about how it looks um, I have been using a lot of like these shades as like transitions and crease and I kind of go towards these for my lid shimmers and sometimes that one. Um, if I was being really picky I would ask for more like of lighter shimmer colours. You see how we've got lots of like similar kind of browns and warm browns and orangey browns and that kind of stuff. I would have liked more like this is a light pink I would have liked a really light gold or a really light kind of like movie colour that kind of thing um but yeah I still really like it um sometimes I just like use these as a crease colour and then I go and get the shimmer from another palette um because I've got this one which is Tarte Rainforest of the Sea volume 3 and this is like all shimmers except this one which has a bit of glitter but these are all like really light um, and so I can literally go for like any of them except I'd never really go for that one um, and in comparison like this Jaclyn Hill one has some light colours but they're like transition-y shades um, or like a highlight shades here and then I, I like these so I just like a bit more maybe variety but that's me being really picky but I do really really like it so how I've been doing it is I always still set my eyes with this Lorac palette and use this like shade up here which I'm gonna run out of and I'm gonna be very sad so I'm gonna do that now these Jacqueline um, colors have the shade names on the back so I will try and tell you what colors I'm using but I am gonna zoom you in There we go, just zoomed in a bit while I do the eyeshadow. Um, so you can see more of like what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I look crazy, I look really white up here now. But we're gonna put eyeshadow over the top of it, so it's gonna be fine. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this brush, which is my favorite Real Techniques brush. I don't know what it's called. It says 203 on it, and I really like it for like my crease. 
um, I'm going to go in to um, Silk Cream, is that what it's called? Silk Cream, which is there, and kind of use that first. I feel like these shadows are really pigmented and um, they blend really nicely. You can build up the colour so well. I really like them. Okay, and then I'm going to start deepening it up a bit with the shade Puta with the same brush. And I'm kind of like keeping this towards the outside more, I'm not going in there. Okay, there's a lot more on that side. I'm like not someone who really cares about how messy I do it because I always clean it up afterwards, so it's fine. Like, don't worry if you've got some going all the way down there because you will just clear it up afterwards. And then I kind of like to put a bit of it on the lid so there's a bit of transition there. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with a Morphe brush. Um, it doesn't have a name, but this is what it looks like. Um, it's like tapered but then it's like quite thin so I find this perfect to like just go there with. I'm going to use the shade Roxanne. I love this shade because it brings so much warmth to the eyes, like I love it. I'm gonna put a bit more Roxanne on this eye. I'm using now my compact mirror so I can see better. Then again, I'll put some Roxanne onto the lid. So this is what we've got so far. It looks way more extreme on camera than it does in real life. I will try and blend it out a bit. Um, I'm going to use this uh, Morphe brush, which is like nice and fluffy. I always do eyeshadow before brows because when I do all the blending, I like muck up all my eyebrow hair. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Maybe if I put the brightness down, you'll see more of like the real color. Yeah, if we do it like that, it might be a bit too dark, but. Okay, and then for my lid, I'm gonna use the shade Firework, which is this like ready, coppery shade there. I was tempted to use this one but I feel like it's a bit too ready for my eye look today so I'm going to use this one and I'm using another Morphe brush. This is just like a flat one which is great for picking up shimmer and we'll pop that all over the lid. And then because I always seem to go up too high with my um lid colour, I kind of just go back in with uh, my original brush that's got the transition colour on and just blend a little bit. But yeah, and now we've got to tidy up all this. <laughs> so yeah, I really like these eyeshadows. Um, I'm going to just pop some concealer underneath um, and I realised that I put the mineral veil on and I'm going to have to probably do a little top up, but I'm sure that'll be fine. So this is the Collection Last and Perfection Concealer. I'm really nearly out and I bought a NYX one to try when it's finished, which is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Studio Concealer. HD Studio Photogenic Concealer? Maybe? It's got so many different languages on it, I don't know. Um, yeah, this is in the shade Porcelain and that's something I will be using next. I kind of manipulate my concealer so that it puts my eyeshadow in a straight line, um, which I'm really going to need to do on this eye. It didn't really look like, uh, it didn't really look right um, directly underneath this eye, but I do think it's just because it's going over the top of powder. Um, so actually, I'm just going to pop some Rimmel Stay Matte underneath my eyes because that's easy, um, easier than getting 
a loose powder out. And you know what I've just realised? I had an ASOS powder to try and I didn't even try it. Um, it's the translucent pressed powder in, it says just breathe on the back, but look, it's like white. Let's just take some for the, for the lols and put some underneath my eye. <clears throat> Definitely is making me paler though. I wouldn't say it's necessarily super translucent. But I feel like this would be good for under the eyes. And I'm gonna chuck um, some eyeshadow like underneath my eye and then I'll move on to eyebrows. Um, where is the lovely brush that I like to use? This one by Real Techniques. Uh, this is a shading brush. Hmm, what colour should I dip into? I think I will go into Roxanne. And just pop her underneath my eyes. I'm going to need my mirror for this. <laughs> now I'm going to do my brows, and I have this little ASOS. Um, eyebrow palette so but I always draw with a pencil first then go in with um, powder and then put a gel over the top this is what this looks like oh look you're balanced look at all my makeup <laughs> ah, and that's what you're balanced on there's you on two birch boxes and my essential oils box <laughs> um, yes yeah, so I'm gonna draw my eyebrows on with a pencil and then come back to you when I'm ready for the powder Okay, so I always kind of draw them on like really roughly like this. I've been using this Benefit uh, Bravo Conditioning Primer recently and I really like it. I feel like it is conditioning my brows. It also says it's meant to like um, make it then so that it's easier for your brow products to stay on for longer. Um, I'm not going to say anything about that claim because my eyebrows always stayed on like all day anyway. Um, but yeah, and then I use this Rimmel Eyebrow Pencil in the shade. 002 hazel sometimes i go for dark brown sometimes i go for hazel really like what, whatever's there um yeah okay so we're gonna use this palette so i feel like this middle shade is gonna be really good this end one looks a bit more gray so i'm not sure about it i feel like it's meant to like this bit's meant to go at the front and then this like throughout the middle and ends i'm gonna try the lighter shade on the front of my brows and see it does anything. It is filling them in, but it is really light. Like this would be great for probably like blondes. Um, but to be fair, actually, for like the front of your brow, I always struggle as well. Like it's always really harsh here, so I kind of use my finger to like wipe bits away and to like tone it down a bit. So actually, this could work well for the start of my brows. You know. My brows are never even. Like this one naturally comes in further than that one, so I have to like try and extend this one a bit. Um, okay, I'm all right with that. Let's try the darker shade throughout the rest of my brows. I really like that color. Oh my gosh, this is good. I think I am very happy. I think that's all right maybe <laughs> i'm gonna pop some gel on this is running out actually this is the fill and tame brow gel by butanic beauty um looks like this i think i got it in a birch box um i actually have had quite a few brow gels over the last year so i've got like maybe two or three in my drawer waiting to be used when this one has officially run out there's two hairs that are like proper sticking up that won't go down. Oh God. And then I'm going to use the lighter shade underneath my brows. It's not shimmery, which is a bit of a shame. So I might pop a shimmer on over the top of it in a bit. Um, but I'm gonna use it as more as like a contrast between my brows and eyeshadow okay happy with that actually really happy with that I yeah I'm very happy with that I'm currently using this Rimmel one but 
um, it's gonna run out soon. I say soon, it lasts me months and months and months, but that, I'm gonna be happy to use that, so that's good. I also have two mascaras to try. I actually have like 10 waiting for me. Um, I've got this ASOS mascara, which doesn't have like any description on it. And then this Troublemaker one from Urban Decay. I think I'm gonna use the Troublemaker one first and then go over the top of the ASOS one because the ASOS one seems like thicker and fatter, so might like um, volumize a bit more. So yeah, here's this one. Doing a good job at separating my lashes and lengthening them. There's one eye with the Urban Decay mascara on. So I'll do the other eye and then I'll go over the top of the ASOS one. Okay, so there is that mascara and then I'm gonna go on over the top with this huge ASOS brush, which I'm hoping will just like add more blackness and volume and kind of make my lashes like stand out a bit more. And there we go. That's it with both of the mascaras on. I think it's quite nice actually. Um, I think they work well together. And I always like tend to find that. I find that one mascara will kind of be more lengthening or separating and another mascara will be like more volumizing. So I always kind of use two mascaras at the same time. Cool, I'm gonna zoom you out and do a bit of contour and highlight. So for contour, again, it's another ASOS product. I feel like this should be more of like an ASOS get ready with me. Um, and we have like a warm toned bronzer, a more um, cool toned bronzer, and then a highlight in the middle there, which looks like very subtle. Um, I'm gonna try and go in with the cool toned one first, because that looks like the lightest shade. I tend to always use this brush for my bronzer. It's a look fantastic one. I got it in my advert calendar in the 2017 one. Um, yeah. I have to like, because the pan's quite small, I'm like dabbing in each side and the middle. Right, let's go for it. <laughs> That's really dark. Okay. <laughs> I get it when like you prefer one side of your face so I'm preferring the bronzer on this side than on this side I think that's all right actually sometimes I go in with uh, this brush which is a real techniques brush and like proper carve out my cheekbones but I don't feel like I need to especially when I've got like heavy eyes on I tend to not do that I'd rather have like attention on my eyes rather than having loads of bronzer on. Um, yeah, I really like that, that's nice. I'm gonna try the highlighter, but then I have got another highlighter to put on top, which I think is gonna be more pow. Um, so if I get my fan brush, go with the highlighter. So this palette is called Principled, so I think you can get like a contour palette in um, multiple shades, but all right, let's go with the contour, um, with the highlight. Oh, okay, actually, that's a, that's nice, very nice. I'm gonna put some underneath my eyebrows. I love a bit of sparkle underneath the brows. There we go. I've realised I started this video to be more of like a chatty get ready with me and I was gonna like talk about some stuff but all I've been doing is talking about the makeup and I also worry that like this video would be really long if I also added in like extra conversations as well like this one I'm having right now. <laughs> My coffee's gone cold but I actually like cold coffee so that's all right. <laughs> that's actually really nice. Um, in my mirror though, it is bringing up like texture and the glow is very like white so it does really stand out. So I'd either put like less on or put it in like a proper directive place or I would just use it for my brows. I'm not sure. I'm not one who likes a proper highlight, um, but in the camera, it looks great. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna try this highlighter. So I got this in my birch box this month for January, the month of January in case, you know, you're not sure. Uh, this is by CLE Cosmetics. This is a 
an Essence Moonlighter Cushion in Apricot Tinge. So this is a little cushion highlighter. Um, yeah. So it opens up like this and we have the little like sponge um, which I'm not going to use. I'm just going to use my fingers and pat it in. But this is what it looks like. Now when you press in it's not actually the same colour so that's okay. <laughs> and it like goes in like more white. Again I feel like this might be like too icy white but we will see. I'm just going to drink more coffee sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to use my finger and like tap it on my cheekbones. Let's see how this goes. This is a mirror. Sorry, someone's messaging me. Uh, holy moly. Crap. Oh no, I blend in. Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Um, I mean, oh, maybe I just like had too much on my finger. So on this side, I've got less. I mean, this is like super pow. Oh, it's really annoying me that's not like blended in properly. I feel like it would be better if you don't have powder all over your face. If you're someone who wears like just tinted moisturiser and then you dab this in, I feel like it would blend together a lot better than me who uses like so much powder. I mean, can you see where it's like not blended? Like it's just here. Um, I couldn't go outside like that. <laughs> wow, okay, interesting. I might try it again. Um, on a different day when I've just got like tinted moisturiser on or something. Maybe I'll try and put it on underneath my powder and maybe my powder will like dye it down a bit. We will see. Makeup is sometimes about compromise. Um, but it is like super intense. Um, I'm happy to just stick with the ASOS one. <laughs> but yeah, again, like if you're someone who really likes that kind of pop, like Jaclyn Hill, do you know what I mean? Would love this. Um, yeah, I'll definitely play around with it some more and like see if I can make it work, uh, we will see. Okay, last thing is lips. So I've got this new lipstick from NYX, which is a suede matte lipstick in the shade Free Spirit. It looks like this. Um, that might go with my eyes. Um, what else have I got that's new? I've got the ASOS liquid lip, but I don't really think it's going to match very well. This is in the shade Overqualified. I don't really think I've got anything that's new. I would be tempted to just put up my Fenty gloss on. Um, I'm going to try this lipstick. So this NYX suede lipstick in Free Spirit. I think these lipsticks look really cute and I think what would be better <laughs> is if these little heart things came off and they were little rings for children. <laughs> But then it's not, children don't wear makeup. But anyway, all right. Mm. I definitely thought this was going to be more brown. On camera it does look more brown actually. It feels at the moment like really comfortable on my lips. I would be wary of wearing it with this eye makeup because that looks like a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. Um... But like if I was wearing like more natural eye makeup, I would wear this lipstick a lot actually. I really like it, it feels really really nice. I um, love the NYX soft matte lip creams, like they are my favourite ever. Um, this is actually my favourite shade, Abu Dhabi, or Abu Dhabi, I don't know. But yeah, these are like little liquid lipsticks but they feel like a mousse and they're really like not too drying at all. I've also got Copenhagen. I've got more. At the moment, my um, lipsticks aren't organised the best because I'm waiting until I can afford a new dressing table. Um, and then I'm going to have all my lipsticks standing up and my liquid lipsticks somewhere special. This is Can. 
like the place in France? Do they have like a film festival or some kind of festival or awards there? Yeah, I've got a couple of others. But yeah, they're my favourite. So I already like have high hopes for like NYX lip products. I really like the feel of this actually. But I am going to take it off because I think it looks a bit silly with my bright lipstick. Uh, eyeshadow. Um, what lipstick shall I wear? Tartist. The Tarte one in Candy. That could work. I'll try that. There we go. So this is a Tarte. This is a Tartist lip paint um, in the shade Candy. I got like a set of them from QVC and I did do a video on them. I'll link it down below. I did swatches and I think there were like, I don't know how many, eight, 10, 16, I don't know. Um, and I did like swatches of them all and just did it to music. Um, yeah, I did that like <laughs> a year and a half ago maybe. But yeah, so that's Candy. I really like that actually. I hardly ever wear that liquid lip. But that is like a nice nude colour. And then what I'm going to do is just go over the top with my little Fenty gloss bomb. So this is like the original in Fenty Glow. There we go. <laughs> I tried out lots of new makeup. So again, with highlighters, I am quite picky. I like one that's not super subtle. I like one that's glittery, but it's not like pow. Um, yeah, I really like the bronzer, the ASOS bronzer. I really like the ASOS eyebrow powder as well. Like, I'm really happy with that. Again, my Jaclyn Hill, I just love it. Um, and I like the mascaras as well. Um, I love mascaras, so I always have loads. Um, yeah, there we go. I've tried out some new makeup. I'm actually going to like have something to eat now <laughs> um, and curl my hair and film another video. Um, but yeah, cool. There we go. Let me know down below if you have any of these products, what you think of them, what you thought of them on my face. Um, yeah, and the foundations as well, actually. I feel like the colour difference isn't much. So I feel like the matte Bare Minerals foundation was just a lot darker than the original formula, which I think is stupid because they were both in the shade light. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so let me know what you thought of everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in a few days in my next video. Bye.